From Krima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Air Products has invested more than 90 million rand into a centrally located dissolved acetylene plant in Midvale and is decommissioning its two existing plants located in Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The strategic decision by Air Products to decommission its two plants forms part of the company's culture of continually improving its facilities, safety, process and service delivery. The new dissolved acetylene plant was officially unveiled by the company earlier this month. Air Products MD Rob Richardson tells us more. It's a plant that manufactures acetylene gas and we distribute the gas in cylinders uh, from this plant all over South Africa. This plant is a major expansion of our acetylene manufacturing capability. It's uh, a 90 million rand investment and it's uh, intended to provide long-term expansion capacity for us in our industrial gases market and it provides essentially security of supply of acetylene gas to numerous industries and uh, distributors throughout South Africa. The plant boasts the latest and highest standard of global dissolved acetylene facility trends to produce high-quality gas in a safe, timeless and environmentally sustainable manner. It was designed in-house by an air products team that has been involved with the design management and operations of other local facilities for several years. The project commenced about four years ago, obviously with um, environmental impact assessment and planning permissions and so on. And uh, it's now recently come fully on stream this year. And um, the project essentially for us is initiated because of growth in our packaged gases market. We were essentially looking to replace two older facilities which have been supplying our market for the last 50 years. So we have essentially decommissioned our older facilities and we've uh, built this new state-of-the-art filling facility. The company's investment pipeline over the past few years encompassed 2 billion rand, with the most recent projects being its Van der Bell Park facilities G plant and the air separation unit launched in the Eastern Cape in 2014. Richardson says this new facility is an additional long-term investment which will improve the company's business, which, in turn, reinforces its commitment to the country. Midval Executive Mayor Bongani Baloi applauded Air Products' decision to build a facility in the Midval area and also committed support. Look, it's to ensure that, number one, the area is stable for them to continue produce and, and deliver to their clients as well, but to ensure that we find ways and synergies that we can work together as the private sector and government to ensure that they can continue to grow the investment. Uh, <clears throat> we'd prefer that this is their first investment and there's many more uh, after this in the area. This just reaffirms the uh, confidence the uh, investors have in our area uh, because of the stability of the area and our track record of delivery and uh, ensuring that the institution remains an ongoing concern. So it's one that just validates and uh, the good work we've, we've been doing here as a municipality. But also uh, we're excited because we get to grow our economy with a new industry, with a new player in our area as well, which speaks to the growth that uh, we, we desperately need in our communities to ensure that there's opportunities afforded to our communities from employment, corporate social investors, and many other opportunities as presents. Meanwhile, Air Products has entered into an enterprise development initiative with an empowerment company to install a solar energy project at the facility in the near future. Other news making headlines. SA and Italy seek to grow trade and investment partnerships. The fifth edition of the South Africa Italy in Dawa, held in Johannesburg, has emphasized the importance of bilateral trade relations and investment partnerships between the two countries. Uh, in uh, 2017, the total trade between the two countries grew by 10.5%. 2018, it already uh, grew 11% in the first seven months. Uh, we are <coughs> ready to go further the target of $4 billion that we just imagined a couple of years ago. I'm talking of bilateral trade to Italy. So this show in substantial terms that we cannot but be very, very happy about the bilateral relations between Italy and South Africa and that our companies consider this market, this country as a, a place where invest a very important uh, and successful place. That's Cream Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.